Hi everyone, welcome to another outdoor session of Yoga Passion. The sun is still shining in Montreal. Yoga Passion offers basic yoga poses and soft flows for everyone. So I'll invite you to roll out your mat and join me for a refreshing yoga session. We'll just start by closing our eyes. Join your thumb and your index finger. Rest your hands on your knees. Lengthen your spine, soften your shoulders, and lightly lift your chin. And always remember that you can use a block or a pillow or a blanket to elevate yourself to find comfort in your posture. Find comfort in your space. Get comfortable in your posture. And remove all the interference in between you and your channel. Melt away all your thoughts. Fine tune your channel to a laser sharp frequency. The more you clear your channel, the louder the messages will come in. And listen to what the universe has to say. Let the universe speak to you in vibrations. Feel the calmness settling in. Feel the softness settling in. And now that our mind is clear and our body is calm, we're ready to start a really nice warm up. I'll just remove my block. And we'll just start by sliding our right hand in the lower of our back and twist your torso to the right. Feel a light stretch in your spine. And release back to center, breathe in and breathe out slide your left hand in the lower of your back and twist your torso to the left and release back to center what we'll do is we'll just place ourselves in butterfly pose so you want to bring the soles of your feet together and bring them in as close as you can This is as close as they get when you feel a light stretch in your inner thigh. So just keep moving here like this. Find a nice comfortable position. So if your knees are up, you want to bring your hands on your ankles and use your elbows to push your knees down and press and hold your position. Or you can also use your hands and press your knees down, all the way down. And deepen in your butterfly pose. This is a really nice hip opener. Hip openers are great to release trapped emotions. Next, slide your hands towards your ankles. Here, breathe out and pull in your belly and tuck in your chin. Separate your shoulder blades. And feel all the space you're creating in between your shoulders. Breathe into your posture. Nice and soft. Release any remaining tensions. 
Breathe and lift, pull, keep your elbows in. Lightly lift your chin. And stay focused on your breathing. And breathe out again. Nice and gentle. Breathe in up. We'll do this two more times. Breathe out, pull in your belly. Breathe in up. Puff up your chest. And one last time, breathe out. And up. And release. And we'll just go a little bit deeper. Take a breath in and breathe out, forward fold here until you feel a light stretch. Don't worry about what you're able to do. And mostly, just do what you can. and rest into your posture. And slowly come back up. Bring your knees together. And that was it for our really soft warm up. Stay with me, I have more yoga for you after the break. Hi everyone, welcome back from the break. We're gonna continue with a really nice segment that's great to strengthen your arms and your shoulders. Let's get right into it. We'll start by getting on our hands and knees. The width of your shoulders here, breathe out in cat pose. Breathe in in cow pose. We're just getting ready to get into our segment. Breathe out in cat pose. Breathe in in cow pose. Breathe out in cat. And breathe in in cow pose. And we'll do it one more time. Breathe out. And breathe in. Release in a neutral position here. Curl in your toes and we'll move up in down dog. Here, I'll just center myself. So here, deepen in your down dog by bringing your chest towards your knees. Come back here, bend, unbend your knees until you feel a nice stretch here in the back of your legs, trying to bring your heels on your mat. Release, come back to a neutral position. At any moment, if you feel a head rush or any pain, just come back on your knees and move over in child's pose. During this segment, here breathe in, we'll just take a rest, lift your chin, and breathe out all the way back. Breathe and lift your chin and breathe out all the way back. So here, get comfortable. Place your feet and your hands. Really nice opening, nice and comfortable. And what we'll do is we'll start by just bringing our right knee to our forehead. So here, bring your right knee to your forehead. And breathe in, kick up your leg. 
breathe out and breathe in up breathe out again breathe in up and one more and breathe in up and here what we'll do is we'll just bring our knee to our forehead and just move a little bit forward and feel the intensity increasing in your arms hold your posture breathe in up here little variation bend your knee and open up your hip and release bring your right foot back on your mat and we'll just take a rest and we'll move over in child's pose take a little rest and we'll do the other side release come back up and we'll just get ready to do the other side so we'll move over back on our hands and knees curl in your toes breathe out up and down dog and let's try that again on the left side so here breathe out bring your left knee to your forehead breathe in kick up your leg breathe out bring your left knee to your forehead breathe in kick up your leg breathe out and breathe in breathe out and breathe in we'll do one more breathe out and breathe in so here breathe out bring your knee to your forehead here and just move forward and feel the intensity increasing in your arms and your shoulders breathing up bend your knee and open up your hip deepen in your three-legged down dog and release come back and we'll just move over in child's pose and rest And feel all the work in your arms, in your shoulders, in your upper body. Slowly unroll. Just have a nice stretch here. Breathe out and push. Over your head. And two resting breaths. Breathe in up and breathe out. And one more breath and release. That was it for our strong segment. We'll be back right after the break. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We're going to be finishing with a really fun puppy pose. Let's get right into it. So we'll just move over on our hands and knees. So here, since we're nice and warmed up, just breathe out here in cat pose, just to center ourselves a little bit. Breathe in in cow pose. And release. So we're just going to start by placing our left forearm here like this at 90 degrees. And place your right hand here over. Find comfortable, place your forearm here at a distance so you can rest your forehead on your forearm. Make sure your hips are stacked right over your knees. Like this. Find comfort in your position. Here, and once you find your center, what you want to do is press your chest towards your mat. So press down. Mm -hmm. 
and breathe into your posture. This is great to stretch your upper back. And if you want to deepen in your puppy pose, slowly just come up a little bit here and slide your left hand all the way and rest the left side of your head on your mat. Slide your right hand away from you and find comfort in your position. and breathe into it for a fun variation if you want to try it you can take your right hand here slide it in the lower of your back and here find a really nice balance and lift your right leg up for the flying puppy nice and strong nice and steady and release remove your right hand come back up on your hands and knees here we'll close in child's pose walk your fingers away from you release come back up and we'll get ready to do the other side. What I'll do is I'll just turn around so I'm not back to the camera. And we'll do the other side. So here, place yourselves here on your hands and knees. Here again, breathe out in cat pose. Breathe in in cow pose. Find comfort in your position. And here again, what we'll do is we'll place our right forearm here at 90 degrees. Place your left hand over here walk your fingers away from you find a nice center and place your forehead on your forearm when you find your position press your chest towards your mat and completely surrender in your posture If you want to deepen in your posture again, come up a little bit and just slide your right hand here all the way. Place the right side of your head on your mat, nice and comfortable. And just let the posture do the work for you. Just let it happen. And here again, for a fun variation, what you want to do is slide your left hand in the lower of your back. Here, nice and steady. And raise your left leg. And release. Come back. Give yourselves a little push and we'll close in child's pose, extended child's pose. Release, come up, take a breath in. Breathe out, bring your hands and your head down. Place your hands on your thighs and we'll just roll 
three times. So breathe in, bring out your chin, puff up your chest, really exaggerate in your movement and breathe out, unroll. With a fluid motion, two more times, breathe in and breathe out. And one more. And release. We'll come in a really nice seated position. We'll just take a step forward with our hips and we'll move over on our back for a really nice Shavasana. So just here, rest every part of your body, your feet and your legs, rest your hips, remove any remaining tension in your back. Relax your hands and your arms. Let your jaw fall back. Your cheeks and your forehead. And just feel that melting away sensation in your back. So here we don't have much time left. So we'll just wiggle our toes, move our fingers, move your feet and your hands. Bring your legs together, your arms over your head. Have a nice stretch. Stretch the left side, stretch the right side. Both sides together, really stretch and squeeze and release. And we'll just roll ourselves back up to our initial posture. and feel all your thoughts coming back in the right order. Weeding out all unnecessary thoughts. Feel being refreshed and re-energized and will send good intentions to all the people and the elements of the universe. We'll send love and peace. And we'll take a breath to close our session. Breathe in, raise your arms. Breathe out, bring your hands and your head down. And that was it for another outdoor session of Yoga Passion. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to hearing from you on social media. And remember, stay positive, motivated, and for best results, stay loyal to your practice. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.